Wildwood Lake is a wildlife preserve, and it's a man-made lake. It's three miles around. It's not very deep because it also serves as a flood control device for the Susquehanna River and the Paxton Creek. We get a lot of egrets and herons because it is shallow and they can feed there. Those two birds nest in the Susquehanna River on an island, and then they come over the Wildwood Lake, which isn't too far from where they nest and, and, and eat. They mate there too. It's a heavily used place. People run there all the time. I run there, a 5K basically all the way around. And it's got a mile that's flat, hills on the far side. Kind of tough sometimes to run up and down. <laughs> I've been going there for decades, off and on. And now lately, since I've been running, I go there a lot. And I've done a number of paintings there. Hi, I'm Ted Law. Uh, I'm co-owner with my wife, Gallery at Second, and we're very happy to host the excellent artwork here of John Whitney. This is the second featured exhibition we've had with John Whitney. The first was a few years ago, and and we're so happy to have his work here. Not only is it just a high quality, John is a genuinely great guy, uh, long-term artist as well as instructor. A lot of people don't know that he was actually an instructor at the Art Association of Harrisburg back in the 90s. Aside from his background, his knowledge, there's a lot of mentorship going on here in terms of the amount of people come in here to see his work, but also to see him. Very tall gentleman, bearded. <laughs> My name is John Thornton, and I have the extraordinary honor of being best friends with John Whitney. We met in 1976 at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, and I have loved John and his beautiful paintings ever since. I drove to Harrisburg from Ocean City, New Jersey, and received the royal treatment from John. We met at an apartment where his daughter Sam and son Josh live. And I got to see some paintings he did of Josh's Navy days. Before his art opening, John took me out to dinner and gave me a tour of the lake, which he has painted so often. In this current show that I'm in, I've got a number of paintings of Wildwood Lake. The prominent birds are the great white egrets and the blue herons, which are just magnificent birds. They also have ducks, mallards, wood ducks. It's a red-winged blackbird. Every painting in my show has something that flies in it. That connects everything. As you drive into the first parking lot, there's a big area there that's kind of open water, but it's really shallow, so the egrets and the herons will sometimes go in there. And so I have a painting of some ducks, a blue heron, and a great white egret. Also, I've done one of my daughter in her kayak on the north end of Wildwood Lake. Building up that upper body strength for the marathon. Yep. <laughs> a smaller painting of just one egret, and it's kind of a muted painting. It has a large number of American lotus plants in Wildwood Lake. In fact, it may be the largest number on the East Coast, and they're just magnificent flowers when they bloom. They bloom in late July and early August, and then these big yellow flowers that come out of the water. My show is also just kind of a vacation log of all these places that my wife and I have gone on vacation to. I've got two paintings of Alaska in the show. One is of puffins diving under the water. I saw that at the aquarium in Alaska, and it was really kind of neat, so I had to do a painting of that. And then I have another one of a bald eagle on top of a buoy. We were on a whale watching tour. We saw that, so I painted that. I've got a number of paintings from Costa Rica one just in the rainforest and there's one little bird in there. I was walking around the Costa Rican rainforest for about four hours and, and I saw that spot and the, the way the light hit came through in the back, it was just beautiful and that little bird. On the ground, there were some dead leaves that were turning warm colors, so I put those in and a really beautiful place in the mountains, north of San Jose. 
the four butterfly paintings were done at a butterfly conservatory in Costa Rica. And it was one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. These quanted huts, but they, did, they weren't covered with metal, they were covered with transparent plastic. And so it was just poured down rain, but inside, of course, the rain didn't go through the plastic. And then inside there were all these butterflies. So each quanted hut had a different kind of butterfly. One of them was transparent. It was the most amazing thing. It was pretty small, but they'd be flying all around you. The most unusual visual experience I think I've ever had. There were these beautiful blue butterflies in another haunted hut. These butterflies were always flying around you. It's just an amazing thing. To do the paintings, I took videos of them because I tried for a while to take still photographs, but I just couldn't do it because they were moving too much. We also went to the Everglades, so I have numerous paintings of the Everglades. That was a really cool place. It's just vast. You know, all this grass and, and birds everywhere. And I have one painting of a place called Middle Creek. That's in Pennsylvania. That wasn't a vacation spot, but it's where 60,000 snow geese migrate every winter and they stop there on that migration, they go north. And so I've got a painting of, I didn't count them, but 60,000 snow geese. <laughs>